Do you feel like y'all have packed years into this marriage that would have kind of been spread out had you been on the road? I know you're missed touring, but I feel like y'all have probably gotten so much alone time and so much closer because of this. Yeah, I think it was really good. I mean, we went, we didn't date very long before we got married. And so we sort of got to just really, really, really get to know each other because it was just us two with no distraction um, <laughs> at my farm outside of Nashville. And so I was really thankful for it because it made us really strong. And, um, you know, I, I think it did that for a lot of couples, especially a lot of my friends don't really see their significant yeah. other because we're different directions all the time. But with, with everything that happened last year, I think everybody was forced to sort of reconnect with themselves and with the people that they really love and that are close to them. Yeah. And the neat thing is, well, not neat thing for some people, but it, it will define a relationship this past year will define it one way or the other it will oh, yeah. bond people together or the other way and i kept saying there's gonna be a lot of a lot of uh engagements and babies or a lot of divorce mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. i'm glad you're on the i'm glad you're on the other end of it that is, that is. <laughs> now when you travel with a with your significant other um that could also be a defining moment in a relationship because you that much time that close quarters that everything that could really push uh, relationships to its limits, but it sounded like it, it worked out just fine. Wait, it does. Uh, backing up is sort of a trigger. Like that's, that'll call, that'll be the one time you really identified as like one person trying to back up the other person, like trying to tell the other person how to back up in a trailer. Um, but we do a lot of podcasts too. So like, we don't have to just sit there and twiddle our thumbs and talk mm -hmm. for a six hour drive. We like get into datelines or murder mysteries or something. So that helps. One more question about traveling with them. I know there's probably not a full laundry room in that Airstream. Do you ever just do your laundry on his abs? Oh, or? yeah. That's a great idea. Mm -hmm. um, actually, that stopped on our, on our way back from um, from Georgia when we went through it. We went to Asheville and Charleston in Georgia, and there was a laundry right across from where we parked at the KOA. So I had to do some Zoom meetings, and he did the laundry. I was like, house husband on the road even. This is great. <laughs> 